I've been trying to find the art in my life. My first instinct is to tell you I am not an artist. I say this because I have to Google image the clip art version of anything before I attempt drawing it. I can't paint without mixing the colors too much until they turn an ugly shade of brown, and once it took me two hours to tint a picture purple on Photoshop for a prince-themed birthday party invitation. But proclaiming to you I am not an artist doesn't really sit well with me. Art is supposed to be an essential part of our own humanity. Without art, how would we know meaning, color, pain, love, or reflection? Okay, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself with exaggerations, but seriously. Art is that open space left for interpretation and creativity that we as humans need to survive beyond our literal existence. But by that definition of art and me saying I'm not an artist, I'd be missing out. I do know meaning. I do know color. I do know pain, love, and reflection. Maybe it's time I redefine what I think art is. Art is the way I give and receive love. When I remember how my best friend embroidered a butterfly and sent it to me in the mail all the way from Chile, I'm filled with deep compassion at the time she spent making this purposeful gesture possible. When I walk my family's new dog and pay close attention to his needs, his water breaks, food, and socializing, I feel the same feelings of commitment and imagination that art requires. I come up with new creative ways to show others that I care, and new ways to process the gratitude I feel when others care for me. When I play music, I'm absorbed in the artistic process. I'm completely focused and zeroed in while drumming with my ensemble. Each note is more than a random hit, they're points of meaning, and when we play together and our sounds blend into one, I feel transcendent. My ordinary priorities melt away and I'm left transfixed in the moment in the same way I feel in art galleries. I make art through cooking. The other day I made a pot of black beans. I had to inspect and wash the beans I bought with care, brainstorming what kinds of flavoring would complement their taste. Would I make them simple with onions, garlic, and salt, or add peppers this time around? I could experiment with mild or spicy salsa, or add just a little more oregano this time around. There isn't one way to cook beans, just like there isn't one way to make art. Ultimately, it's up to your interpretation. My teaching is a form of art. I sit down to lesson plan and my past knowledge is eager to leap onto the page. How do I teach middle schoolers about the history of American jazz? I constantly have to make choices about what information and whose perspective to include, and which mediums my students will engage in best. When it comes to class time and I read the room's energy, I might just throw it all out the window and start something new. Just like art, teaching is creation, revision, relationship, and thinking outside the box. I am an artist. You are an artist too, because you're human. If you've ever been immersed in something you love, or thought of a new way to solve a problem, or reflected on your deep feelings or interpretations, you've created art. I'm challenging myself to believe in the art that already exists in my life with the hope that it will support me in making more. I invite you to join me.